Philip asks, what is the best business model for someone that has the attention span of a gnat? And I just absolutely freaking love the way that Philip phrased this question. Uh, thanks, Philip, for being open and for being honest. Uh, this is such a better way of saying it than just the short attention span, right? Um, I think that you're in the right place, right? Being an entrepreneur, being a business owner, I think is great for somebody that has a very short attention span. Um, if, if I like the conversation that you start with me, I'm 100% all in and I am like super focused on it, right? If not, you'll find my eyes wandering and I'm like, mm, yeah, I get bored really easy, right? So good luck holding me in a conversation. And I think that 90% of business owners in that regard are really the same. So that's the good news for you. So what's the best business model for you? I think the better question is, what's the right business structure, right? And what I mean by that is, what, what's going to support you in being in that role, right? And having the attention span of an app, right? What kind of business structure do you need to set up so that you can do you? so that you can be who you are, right? Instead of you trying to change yourself, because that's not probably gonna happen, okay? A lot of models, business models can get you there. At the end of the day, I think you need to embrace that you have the attention span of a gnat. <laughs> I think that you need to embrace that, like most entrepreneurs, you're probably a pioneer. You're probably a trailblazer. You are probably a solutions expert. You are not one that's going to want to implement that solution though, day in and day out for the next 10 years, right? You would drive yourself mad. So I think the duty and the responsibility of a business owner in any business is to work on a project, right? Once that project is off, it's running, you got it proven, you got it working, you got some type of systems or support to back it up, Right, then you hand it off to your team and you jump into the next thing. So um, I've done lots of videos talking about this and, and how you should go about building your business in this way. So I don't wanna dive on this too long, um, but I think at the end of the day, there's a lot of business models that will help support you, right? And that will support you. I think at the end of the day though, you really need to be thinking about how you're gonna structure your business so they will support you in that role of being very much project basis.